<laughs> What's going on, you guys? Gaming out here coming at you for another video. Today we're going to be talking about Blade. You guys know where I'm going with this. You know, I've already reported on Blade coming to the platform, but at that time, it was up in the air whether or not this game would be exclusive. I, for one, I'm pretty confident it was going to be exclusive, but I can understand from the perspective of people that actually do keep up with the industry, I can understand why some of them would be like, yo, if, if it was exclusive, why isn't Xbox putting their name on it? There's a lot of things that goes into these kind of things, and I think that we can all agree that, you know, for the most part, Xbox has done things in the past that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense in the grand scheme of things. There was a interview I, I think this is exodus i don't know you guys know i butcher pronunciations you guys can correct me in the comment sections if you guys want to it was pretty much like one of the big people of disney one of the big people in gaming and you know they they asked him a lot of stuff when it come to what's going on with them in gaming and you know he had something very interesting to talk about when it comes to indiana jones so keep in mind this quote I'm about to read from this article, I'll have the article in the description below. It is from the perspective of Indiana Jones. It's not really the perspective of, of Blade, but I think we could take one and for the most part, go with that rule for the other because they're both Disney owned IPs being licensed by a company such as Microsoft and they're both being made by Bethesda Studio. So I think you could use one for the other easily. Uh, you know, on or on, rene <laughs> on renegotiating the Indiana Jones game terms at the request of Microsoft to make it a Xbox PC exclusive after Microsoft bought its development studio with Xbox still being one of the biggest marketplaces for gamers, we didn't feel like we were going to be overly exclusionary. Uh, we felt like it's still going to reach a broad set of folks and we felt financially and strategically for the game that it made sense at the time. So, all right, let's talk about that. First off, regardless what's going on between the sales of Xbox compared to PlayStation, a lot of people don't want to give Microsoft the, you know, the kudos for just being in the industry in general. This is a tough industry. It's not easy to, to excel at it. There's a lot of people that have tried. We just got through Google with Stadia. They was in this sucker for like a year and a half to two, if that, and then they were out. You know, I think I played Stadia one time on Destiny. That's all. Then they were out. You know, a lot of people would love to be in the industry in general. And regardless how you feel about the install base or regardless how, if, how you feel about Xbox, you know, selling or not selling X amount of consoles, they still have a, a huge ecosystem that is massive in the industry. Sure, are they number one? No. But I think we can all agree in the grand scheme of things when there's only realistically three to four markets, if you want to count the PC market for this particular conversation, you know, they have a good vast pulse on what's going on. All right, so let's let's talk about some other stuff, man. Let's let's go into this thing on whether or not Indiana Jones and Blade would be exclusive. You know, so he did come out there openly and admit that Indiana Jones is an exclusive to the Xbox platform. Look, I understand this is not Blade. Valid criticism, this is not Blade. But Indiana Jones to me shows a lot of the same things going on with what's currently going on blade for example we still have not got an official confirmation that indiana jones is exclusive to the xbox platform the only reason we know this to be the case is because one this individual is coming out openly and talking about microsoft renegotiating for indiana jones and what's funny is i remember when Indiana Jones was first announced, a lot of people just assumed it was multi-plat. You know, this is this is a third-party deal. Most likely this deal was done before they bought them. So why would it be a multi-plat? Well, at the time it wasn't. Microsoft had to renegotiate with Disney 
to get it exclusive to the Xbox platform. So right there really shows that Xbox is pursuing exclusivity in terms of consoles on their platform. And that's good. I think for the most part, we can all agree that that is something that needs to be done more. Microsoft needs more timed exclusives to make their console more appealing. You know, Blade is a huge, huge icon. I wouldn't say it's extremely mainstream in terms of comic books because he's never been formally added into like the MCU or anything like that. But I would say as far as like gamers and just comic book heads in general, he is a loved favorite. Now, it's like I said, he's not a mainstream one, but he is close enough to that top part going into mainstream that I feel like is a good choice for Microsoft to make this deal with. And keep in mind, this movie is about to come out with Blade. And if I was Microsoft, maybe you guys would be different. You know, putting the comments section below what you guys think. I would actually do whatever I could to help with that movie. You know, reach over there. Yo, what you guys need? You need money? You know, we Microsoft, we got plenty of connections. We got plenty of money. Maybe we can offer our assistance to make this movie do as best as it can. Because to me, however well that movie does, it's just going to translate to more sales in the game portion. Uh, you know, considered like the Spider-Man stuff. You know, people, if they're hyped because of the movie, they're going to go and play the game. And vice versa, if they're hyped because of the game, they're going to play the movie. Now, I don't know when the movie comes out. My biggest thing is I don't want them rushing one to get the other. I want both of them to get their perspective times to actually be developed into a fantastic form of media. I don't want the game being rushed to meet the movie standards. You know, a lot of these companies that when, when they make this kind of stuff, they're like, we want the movie to come out around time as the game. And I don't think that's necessary. Hell, if this game takes 2027, 2026, I'd be okay with a couple Blade movies, and then we get the Blade game. Do not rush the Blade game to make the movie. We want it to have its own separate type of story going on. Sure, maybe you can use some of the villains that's in the Blade game, uh, the Blade movie, but I don't want you rushing them. Look, it's clear. You know, we don't know Indiana Jones is an exclusive, but guess what? It's an exclusive. They haven't put their mark or their logo on anything Indiana Jones. But we know that's an exclusive. Not from Disney, obviously. Not from Microsoft. Not from Bethesda. Disney's gaming, like, vice president or whoever this individual is, put in the comment section below if you know his exact title. He told us. The FTC hearing also told us. The only people that are upset that this is happening and the only people I see in denial that Blade and Indiana Jones, especially Blade, is going to be an Xbox exclusive is the fans that want to use it for a console war narrative. Now, you guys know how I'm on the uh, on this channel. You guys know how I'm on ILP. I, I poke holes. I, I make some fun with the, with the console war stuff. Not anything serious. I don't go to bed thinking about this stuff. It's just like a little fun joke. But at the end of the day, this is reality. And reality says that Blade and Indiana Jones is an exclusive to the Xbox brand. That's pretty much all I got for you guys today. You know, regardless what the Xbox, I mean, PlayStation fanboys think, Blade and Indiana Jones are exclusive to the Xbox console brand. That's just how it is. Doesn't matter what you feel. Doesn't matter what you think. But we're going to put in the comments below what you guys feel about this. Do you guys think that Blade's going to be an exclusive? I'm very curious to hear you guys' opinion. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It's always appreciated. And if you like this kind of content, definitely sub. I do weekly content. With that, any further ado, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. We out of here. Peace. Blade, 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 man.